What's up guys and welcome to today's video. In this video we're going to be looking at women's jeans, women's denim, women's jeans, and we're going to be looking at three different price points and that's all coming right up. Now the reason that we're doing this is because I really need to learn about women's jeans. I have not dived into this yet and researched it. However, because I've been doing so well with men's jeans, I decided that I should probably branch out into women's jeans. The reason for this is because I believe apps and, and websites like Poshmark and Mercari are very geared toward women. And so, because I want to uh, make as many sales as possible, I'm gonna go where the demand is. So, with that being said, let's jump into my computer and see what we can find. Uh, basically, how we're gonna do this, we're gonna look at three different price points on eBay. That'll be the $25 to $50 range, the $50 to $75 range, and then the $75 to $100 range. We wanna find out what denim brands are selling in each one of these categories. Now, uh, we're gonna go through, this is gonna be sort of exhaustive, just because I simply need to learn this. I've been doing really good with the men's jeans and I want to branch out for those women's jeans. So let's see what's selling on eBay. We're gonna go through the sold comps. We're gonna look nationwide in the United States of America and see what we can find. The average buy cost that we're gonna be focusing on is the seven to $8 range. So if you can buy jeans for seven to eight bucks, then uh, that's what we're kind of basing all of this off of. Some stores sell jeans cheaper than that. Uh, some are more expensive, I guess. But for me, the buy cost is $8 for me generally. And so that's what I'm gonna be putting my whole focus on with this and then selling them for these prices. We're gonna look at brands of jeans as well as the model of those particular jeans and see what we can come up with. Let's jump in and see what we can find. All right, so what I did here is I have an incognito window open. And the reason I do this is because I wanna make sure that my uh, past searches on eBay are not going to influence this brand new search at all. I want raw data, and so that is why um, I have an incognito window open. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump into eBay. And here, I'm, I'm just gonna start out and just put women's jeans. Now, at my thrift stores, um, they, they generally have I would say probably four to eight times as many women's jeans as they do men's. So I know there's there's profitability there. There is definitely um, there's definitely opportunity for sure. Uh, let's zoom in on this window so we can see a little bit better. I'm gonna start setting my filters. So I'm looking at pre-owned first off, and then I'm gonna go down obviously like right to sold because I only wanna look at things that have actually sold. It doesn't matter what you post it for, it matters what you sold it for. And so we're doing that, we're gonna look at, uh, we're gonna say $25 as a minimum sale price to $50 as a maximum sale price for this first tier. Basically, I just want to know what uh, what is selling in this range. And then let's see, we want to look at US only. The reason I do this is because I want information as far as like what he is here local to the United States. Uh, on the left, you can actually see they have brands that are listed. So uh, you could click this, see all, and you'll see all the brands. But, and that's, that's great, right? But I wanna actually dive in and see, you know, uh, miss me, right? So miss me if you find the, the jeans with embroidery or rhinestones that's super important to pay attention to i don't want to just write down brands i want to actually look in and see what is there i have my notebook here and i have a pen and so i'm going to definitely take notes i recommend that you do the same thing if you are interested in learning to sell women's jeans i think there's a huge uh opportunity here that a lot of people just aren't taking advantage of if shoes in your thrift stores are rising which they are in a lot of thrift stores even for me uh if shoe prices are rising and you're paying 10 12 15 30 bucks per pair of shoes uh, that can get really outrageous and the profit margins get super thin there but if you can spend seven or eight dollars per pair of jeans and you can sell them for 30 40 50 bucks it's more money better profit margins uh we're looking at ended recently so we've got some zara we've got some maurice's we've got levi's 7-elevens the 7-eleven free shipping 31 dollars um, i'm definitely the ag denim i'm going to open that up in a new tab and i want to look at what ag denim is that's not something i've ever seen before however i'm going to pay attention to it because it's got a good sale price uh, let's look at the. there's no picture of the tag okay well, this is not a great listing, but all right. So AG Denim, I guess that's on our list. We might see that. 
Levi's 512s. I sell a lot of these. I just sold a couple pairs the other day. Levi's 512 perfectly slimming is what you want. Uh, so I'm going to write that down just so it's it reinforces it in my brain. 512 perfectly slimming. All right, scrolling down, we've got some Miss Me embellished. All right, here's what I'm talking about with the Miss Me embellished sequins. Uh, pay attention to Miss Me. You see they sold for 50 bucks. Well, took a best offer, free shipping. We're writing that down, Miss Me. I've seen Miss Me before, but I've never paid attention to them. Um, and that's money as long as the back pockets have those embellishments, those rhinestones or embroidery or whatever. Uh, always do your due diligence. Always check comps whenever you're sourcing. But we're definitely writing down the Miss Me uh, jeans. Rock Revival, uh, the ones that have the... And, you know, anything that makes a pair of jeans more elaborate, more um, eye-catching like this is definitely something to pay attention to. So I'm going to write that down. Rock Revival. And we'll maybe get like two more off of this. I don't like to, to sell um, Ann Taylor Loft just because I've had a lot of it. I've tried selling it and it just didn't do well for me. Now this sold for 50 bucks free shipping. So maybe that was a very particular size. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, you can do that if you want. I'm, I think I'm going to stick more toward like the Rock Revival, the Miss Me. Um, yeah, here's another pair of Loft Women's. Uh, stretch dark wash they sold for 28 free shipping so the money's there uh, i like to charge extra shipping here's a pro tip for you uh, if you're not aware just about every pair of jeans as long as they're not like a plus size women's or like a really large men's size uh, almost every pair of jeans will fit in a padded flat rate envelope that ships nationwide for eight dollars flat so uh, jeans are going to weigh more than a pound and so it's generally going to cost you like if you went standard priority weight shipping, uh, it would cost you anywhere from like $8.50 to $16, depending on where you're shipping, Alaska or Hawaii, um, from where I'm at. But if you use that padded flat rate envelope, which you can get for free from USPS, their website, uh, that ships for $8 anywhere in the nation. So definitely check out the link in the description where you can go get your free USPS padded flat rate envelopes. Uh, what I do is I fold the jeans up really tight. I Once they're in like a nice rectangle, I fold them once more, slip them in there, boom, they're ready to go. Okay, so we have Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand is almost a dead giveaway. Lucky Brand generally does really well. I have a couple pairs for sale right now. Uh, you have this NYDJ. I'm not familiar with that brand, I don't think, um, but it's got a good sale price there. BKE jeans, $25 plus shipping. I guess you could write that down. Uh, BKE here again for 35 free shipping. So let's just write down BKE because it's a reoccurring brand that we're seeing here. We see BKE again. We've got some gap on here. Some of these mall brands, like you have to be careful with them. Uh, right here, women's vintage 550 high waisted taper legs jeans. We've got some LL Bean for 25. Judy Blue, Los Angeles. So I'm going to write that down because that's a little bit higher price. Judy Blue, not familiar with it. Going to write it down. Judy Blue, LA. We'll know that's Los Angeles. Um, you got Spanx, you got Land Lovers. So this is like your entry level, sort of profitable jeans. And then uh, I definitely want to look at uh, the higher priced stuff. So this is tier one, we'll call it. But let's go in and check out the prices. We'll go from $51 to $75. Hopefully we'll just get some more reassuring names. So that was the 25 to 50. Now we're doing 51 to 75. Right off the bat, you see Rock Revival right here uh, for 60 bucks plus shipping. So I'm just gonna write RR and then we go through Y2K Vintage Paris Blues. Not sure of that brand. Definitely gonna open it up, check that tag out because I want to be sure that there's another pair right there, Vintage Y2K Levi's 550s. So it, it appears that it's a, a Levi's? I don't, I don't know, let's look. I really hope that they posted the actual tag. Okay, Paris Blues is the brand. Paris Blues is the brand. So that's what we want to be paying attention to. Y2K is, I guess, the year 2000 is probably when these came out, which is what they're basing their vintage stuff off. So 
Paris Blues. I'm definitely going to spend some time in the thrift like digging these things out. I'm going to find some of these things. So Paris Blues, definitely a bolo. Get it. Vintage 90s, year 2000, Levi's 555. Let's see why these are selling for so much. They took a best offer. They're, they had them listed for 75 and took a best offer. What's that back tag say? Levi's 555, guys fit, low rise, 11 junior. So this is very specific. It's a guys fit, but it's a women's junior size. So definitely something to look out for. I wanna look at that tag. There's nothing particularly like interesting about that tag except that it just says 555 so i'm gonna put levi's 555 i don't think i've ever seen a pair of levi's 555s uh some levi's numbers don't do very well and others do so that's why i'm writing that down i just want to be sure um man there's a lot of really good stuff here j brand has popped up a couple times we'll write that down j brand not familiar with that let's take a look at the tag i really recommend looking at the tag um, when I go to the thrift, I'll be flying through the racks and all I'm paying attention to is the tag. I don't care until I find the tag that I'm looking for. Then I'll look at condition and uh, the style and, and all of that. But the tag is what I want to pay attention to first. Hopefully they put it on here. And if you are, okay, there's the tag that we're looking for. If you're going to sell denim, uh, if you're going to sell anything, always put the tag. Like always put a picture of the tag. This is what we're looking for. J brand. Natasha is the, the model of this. Uh, always put your lengths in there. What I did right here is I created these little card stock uh, things here where it says waist, inseam, rise, and then your hip lay flat. And so whenever I get all my stuff in, I'll lay it out on my, my desktop and I'll measure everything. I'll scribble down the numbers really quick. And then whenever I put my skew in the picture, I put it with this uh, this card and so that way in the picture people could see what the lay flat of the hip is what the inseam what the waist is what the rise is and that way they get all this pertinent information the reason for this is you might buy a pair of men's jeans that say 34 34 but it's almost like every pair of jeans is created differently it won't actually be a 34 34 it'll be shorter or it will be uh longer it's very random i have some like 32 32s that are actually a 34 30 they're off by two inches on both uh, both measurements. So definitely do all of your measurements and write it out so people can see it. Or take a picture like this. Um, this 29 inches on the inseam and it's a size 28. So I don't know. I don't know. Definitely take pictures of, of these. You can see the waist is a 26 because you take that 13 inches and you double it for the waist. So it's a 26 by, what was that? What was that on this? 26 by 29, but the size is 28. Don't get it. It's very weird. So denim is, is strange like that. Um, let's continue going on. Citizens of Humanity, be on the lookout. Look at that, 60 bucks free shipping. Citizens of Humanity. That's what we're looking for. Uh, there's another one right there, 65 bucks. I wanna actually look at that tag really quick because I want to know what I'm looking for whenever I'm out and about. This is, uh, this is something that works for me is by, by looking at these things, you recognize it in the future. This is how I'm able to find so much stuff out in the wild is just by paying attention. There's the tag we're looking for. That's what we want to see. As you're flipping through those racks of clothes, just go fast, 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 and then look at them. These names will start jumping out to you. That's why you write them down. That's why we write them down so that they, it reinforces in our brain what we're looking for. Let's do a couple more in this price range and then we'll move on to the next. This is a three, a three pair bundle of Lily Pulitzer. So we're gonna avoid that. This is a pair of vintage 501s. I sell vintage 501s, but never at this price point. So I wanna see what is making them so desirable or, or to go with that price. All right, so this is from the 1970s, 80s. What you're looking for right here, it says 501, but do you see that red double X right there? That red double X right above the horse's head on the right uh, is, it's a vintage brand, but you have the tag overlay to the right of that right stitching. This means it's from like the 70s, early 80s when it overhangs like that. Uh, that's really desirable. And then let's see if they have 
the special stitching on the inside. I don't think they do. It's got the button fly. That's how you know it's a vintage pair also. Uh, the button fly Levi's, uh, they go for more, definitely. That's all I'm seeing right here. Made in USA, huge selling point on that. Made in USA. So this is definitely like a solid, this is a solid pickup right here. Anyways, let's get back to it. We're going down, we've got Driftwood, the brand Driftwood. Uh, I'm gonna write that down and let's do one more. If you see something on here, obviously like look at it. Um, I sell a lot of True Religion. I generally don't get this price point for them. So there's something here, probably the red stitching that is very um, attractive for this buyer. I'm gonna write down Rag and Bone because that uh, it's a $50 pair, Rag and Bone. Let's pay attention to them. Remember all of these, uh, no matter what the brand is, you might find a, a pair that is not worth what we're looking at right here. Uh, it's all subjective to the actual pair that you're looking at and what embellishments or what thread it has on it or what the tag looks like. Um, there's, there's always like some factors. So definitely search out every single time. Uh, vintage Guess, if it has the little triangle guess tag there, that's really good. Um, another pair of Levi's 550s right there. I think that's what we, oh, we wrote down Levi's 555. So I'm going to write down 550 as well. I just added that to that line item. Another pair of Guess vintage jeans, another pair of rare nineties Guess jeans, mother of rascal, $65. I'll write that one down. And that's going to be the last one for this price point. I don't want to make this video too long. However, um, I'm finding some really cool stuff here that I, I definitely will probably come back and do more research on. You can see Miss Me right there. Another pair of Miss Me's. All right, let's jump up here and get to the 75 to $100 range. I wanna see what is selling in the 75 to 100, probably the least amount of stuff. And these are gonna be the hardest items to find. As we get to the higher priced items, it's gonna be more rare that you find these, but why not be on the lookout for them? Uh, we've got Rag and Bone, Miramar Jean Joggers. So Rag and Bone, we already have that written down. Uh, we got Polo Ralph Lauren, Mother the Dropout Fray. I wanna see what that is. Is Mother the brand? And then Dropout is the model or, let's see, let's look at this. Mother is the brand, assembled in US. Okay, cool, Mother, got it. And then if you look at this tag, they've got this little white, it won't let me zoom in on it. They've got this little white tab up here that says Mother. So. In the $75 to $100 range, Mother is absolutely a brand that we're looking for. 100% brand that we're looking for right there. Uh, that tab is definitely key. So let's jump back. It'll be interesting to see if that brand Mother uh, shows up reoccurring on this. We got Vintage 501 button flies, ladies, um, $85. This is incredible. Like I'm gonna pay a lot more attention to the the button fly ladies jeans because the 501s because they're definitely selling for high dollar. Let's click on this and see what that back tag looks like because there's many different vintage 501 Levi's. Um, so this is the one without the extended brown tag and this has the double X right above the horse's head. Wow, that's very interesting that they didn't give hardly any information whatsoever but that tag looks good. We see a vintage Tommy Hilfiger spell out overalls from the 90s. Definitely something to look out for right there. Incredible. I would love to find something like that. Uh, we got another pair of uh, Guess vintage jeans. I'm gonna write that down. George's Marciano. And we're gonna look at the tag on that. Marciano Guess. So vintage Guess jeans, obviously. I love vintage clothing and I'm, I'm learning a lot about it. Definitely something to pay attention to. Let's look at these pictures really quick. Uh, it's got a nice zipper up on the ankle there. It's got the vintage guess triangle on the back pocket. That's what we're looking for. Okay. That's a tag to pay attention to for sure. I'm telling you, I'm gonna find these and I'm gonna make a video about it. And then you're gonna think back to this video and it's gonna be awesome. We got Dolce & Gabbana, obviously, like you don't even have to write that name down. If you see Dolce & Gabbana jeans, probably a pretty decent pickup. We've got another pair of vintage Levi's 501, the double X's. Let's look at it. Same thing right here, you guys. Double X above the horse's head. Now, sometimes you'll see 501 and the double X will be here next to the 501 as well as up here. We've got a pair of Ralph Lauren Selvage. Here is the Selvage stitching. I'm gonna show you this. If you find this kind of stitching in the wild, 
more than likely it's worth picking up right there you see how it's laid flat and you have a straight red line stitching you hear people talking about like red line levi's this is what they're talking about so let's find they don't actually even have a full picture of the selvage okay well we're gonna zoom in as best we can that is it's laid flat so it's two pieces of fabric that are laid flat and then it's red line stitched on either side straight stitching you're not doing the loop stitching it's straight stitch red line very important double rl anything is going to go for big money i went to the thrift store one time i saw a pair of camouflage pants across the store did not it was men's size i didn't know what they were but they did not look like military camouflage pants so i ran over checked them out they turned out to be double rl ralph lauren pants and i bought them i sold them for i want to say like 89 dollars or 98 dollars uh, and they cost me six bucks definitely pay attention to double rl and it'll look like that. The, the tag will say Ralph Lauren and it'll have the double RL. And you can even see right there in the uh, in the title, it says double RL designer. Let's jump back to the search results. We'll find a few more. Here's a pair of 501s, uh, raw hem. Not sure what that is. Here's another pair of 501s. Um, here's a pair of true religions for 100. I guess just list some of your stuff higher. Here's some miss me for 79, seven for all mankind. That's a brand that I'll tell you right now, like be on the lookout, but only for certain, you need to look at specific uh, models of seven for all mankind because not all models sell for high dollar. And for this one, this is the Dojo. I've sold these before for like 20 bucks. Why are they so much right now? Huh? Here's another eighties pair of the 501s. And this has the extended tag on it. So once again, just kind of re reiterating what I've already said, be on the lookout for those. Bib overalls go really well right now, so pay attention and pos you know, you might you might grab something. Here's another pair of Seven for All Mankind Dojos. We've got some really great brands here. I'm gonna read them off really fast. Uh, so you, you can see if you have the same ones. AG Denim, Levi's 512 Perfectly Slimming, Miss Me, Rock Revival, Lucky Brand, BKE, Judy Blue LA, and then in the 51 to $75 range, Rock Republic, Paris Blues, Levi's 555s and 550s, uh, J Brand, Citizens of Humanity, Driftwood, Rag and Bone, Mother of Rascal, and then in the $75 to $100 range, Mother, the brand Mother, uh, George Marciano Guess, the vintage Guess with the triangle tag on the pocket, Double RL, that's Ralph, Ralph Lauren, and then seven for all mankind. These are things that I'm gonna be paying attention to, looking for. I'm definitely going to hit the, uh, I'm gonna hit the thrifts hard this next week when the sourcing budget is renewed for us. And I'm definitely going to pick some of these up. I'll keep you guys posted. You stay uh, stay hunting out there, get, the, get those jeans. Right now it's perfect time to stock up. I put this out in one of my videos or something recently. Uh, my jeans, my denim sales did not actually take off until I hit the, like 70 to 100 active listed items in that category. So my jeans and my uh, shorts and shirts, all these new categories I'm getting into, once I hit like 70 to 100 of these particular items in the category, the sales started flying off the shelf. It was crazy. So uh, pay attention to that, like get as much stuff listed as possible. Stay consistent, even if you're listing only five items a day, better to list five items per day uh, and stay consistent on the platforms than to list 40 items in one day and then not list anything the rest of the week. Stay consistent, go get it, get the money, get the bag, get these jeans. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. It helps the channel. It helps other people find the video, uh, people that have similar interests as you and me. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.